coming up, I'm coming up. Uh, feel the rush, I feel the rush. If this ain't legendary, what you call it? I said, if this ain't legendary, what you call it? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ace Operative. And today, people, I will be reviewing Boruto Naruto Next Generation Episode 105 A Wound on the Heart. So, I'm like here. I'm like here looking at this episode. And then just to come to find out that this episode will be going over 20 episodes of the arc in which we had Mitsuki pull a Mitsuki retrieval arc. I'm like here looking at that like, so we couldn't get anything else. We couldn't get a hint to what was going to come like in the future of Boruto. These suckers, they decided to do a like a recap of everything that had happened to Mitsuki thus far. Understand that, comprehend that my guy. This episode was only going over the Mitsuki retrieval arc. I'm like here saying, you telling me you couldn't grab anything else from any of the other episodes in which we have gotten with Boruto and Mitsuki in order for us to be able to like piece together what's been going on with Mitsuki. And you telling me that the biggest wound that has been on Mitsuki's heart was when he had to betray Boruto and he had to pursue doing things his way. That was what was like wounding his heart. Looking at this thing over again, I was just like, you're saying to myself like, we really have to go through this? We really got to go through this all over again? The Mitsuki retrieval arc wasn't that, nah, it was, it was pretty bad. That thing was like, 20 episodes long. I felt like that that could have got done in 12 episodes, but they scratched that crud out. But I'm just like you're saying, really, we had to go all the way freaking back for us to be able to understand like what happened in Mitsuki's head. They could have done this before we had gotten into that cursed forest arc in which we just completed, bro. We, we could have had this episode then. Like, it would have... I guess it would have had, you know, shined some light on a few things, but we didn't have to go all the way back just for that. And then there was barely any new information. I well, Orochimaru did say at the end of the episode that he's becoming more and more human. And I was like, I mean, that's understandable because he's been hanging around Boruto. And I must admit, Mitsuki used to do a lot of dumb things like in the beginning of Boruto. Oh, but now he's like calmed down. He has a lot more common sense. He's like the calm one of the group when everyone else is like going off on and doing their own thing. Mitsuki's like the calm one. And he's not do and he's not saying or doing anything dumb. He's actually thinking and cooperating with the team. So I'm just like you're saying, okay, when you actually think about it, of course, Mitsuki is is actually like he had great character freaking development. That's great. That's wonderful. But it's just like it's still a point to where um we didn't need that this episode to just have us like we look back at it. I understand this was like one of the biggest arcs to have that much character development for Mitsuki, but it was like we didn't need it. We didn't need this episode as of late. Because just for him for just for the this episode just focus on that one arc and not focus on everything else he has done. It's just like it baffles my freaking mind. Like why? Why did you have to like show us this? And then there was nothing to like say that he didn't see like if Mitsuki saw like a picture of the future. If Mitsuki saw like something in the future that has not happened yet, I would have gave this episode a lot more credit, mind you. But it's just like nah, I can't I can't let that one slide, Chief. I can't let that slide because it's just like they could have done this like they could have done so much more. They could have done so much more. So I'm just like here just saying this was the episode. Um looking towards the next few episodes of Boruto, I don't know. Because I mean I might as well like say this. I don't know like when the next major arc is gonna start. I know um Mirai has her um episode with um Kakashi and Guy. I feel like that's gonna be a good one. That one's gonna be very freaking good because we see we get to hang around Kakashi and Guy and who knows what they'll be able to tell us. But yeah. Overall, um when it comes down to a Boruto anime, 
I like, well, I, I don't like how long we got to take in order for us to get to the manga. Because the main reason why they're doing all this crud to, is to, you know, give the manga some more time. To be able to, like, you know, like when we hit the manga stuff, we're, we're going to be in it for like a good freaking minute. And I'm just like you're saying, when we finally hit it, it's it's going to be such a breath of fresh air. Now I'm trying to the, I'm trying to figure out when are they going to do it. If they're going to do it to where Borto encounters that boy, and he's going to lead Borto to like a type of gang that's a, after him, that's going to be that's going to be real interesting because then that would point towards the upcoming organization but i'm not gonna go too deep into that it's just i wanted to talk about you know like what we probably going to be getting into when it comes to um borto because this episode was like a total wash let's be honest here but yeah guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below by the way um get ready for e3 at least we can say that if, if you're looking forward to anything like interesting maybe getting announced like for maybe a borto or an arts game you know we have e3 to look forward to but you know, on um, when which is in June 9th, might as well say, yeah, June 9th. Um, maybe we'll be able to get some interesting news, or we might get some news early about the next, um, maybe hopefully Nart again. I haven't been talking about it that much because it's just like, eh, when it comes to anime games, after what we have gotten with Jump Force, it's like they like the only thing. Ooh, the only other anime game that we probably gonna just you know like get ready to get is Dragon Ball Project Z, but it's just that's Dragon Ball. You know we need a real good Naruto game, but that's just me. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Operatives, move out. You are